Surprised you made it on time. <laughs> All right. I'll bite. Why wouldn't I be? I just figured your new PR guy how you doing a couple radio shows and TV shows this afternoon talking oh, yourself up. Oh, man. Look, we just rented a condo in your head space. Hey, look, if you're not careful, I might just buy the whole building. <laughs> okay, so you got jokes, huh? You ever get tired of hearing your own hustle? And there it is. My first down payment. So it's all you now, huh? Just you and baby Zuckerberg? Zach's on all the mad ants, all right? This exposure's good for all of us. We all win. Mad ants don't win anywhere. He needs to just focus on looks from the league. Everything else is a waste of time. So what, you think that he's going to help you with the scouts, I too? I know he's going to help you. But you're in my way. Have you heard about Vlad? Nah, who's Vlad? The Romanian guy on the Nets. They just brought him over. Vlad the Impaler? I didn't see a Vlad on the roster. Their center. Andre Haji? Right, yeah, but uh, they call him Vlad the Impaler. Hey, man, don't sweat it, Howie. Whoever he is, we got this. Oh, you know something I don't? Yeah, yeah. I read up this morning on Wayne Hoops HQ. The vlog called us out, saying that the key to this game is neutralizing Hashi. And the only way to do that is to get everybody involved, so that's what I'm gonna do. Are well, you looking to get a triple-double? I'm looking to win, baby. Win! Welcome, everyone, to Fort Wayne, Indiana. We have another great G League matchup for you tonight between the Mad Ants and the Long Island Nets. I'm Blake Suniga, alongside my good friends Tim Swartz and Brian Vanifatemi. Tim, what do you make of this matchup? Well, well we have some great stars to watch in this game. There's Marcus Young and recent addition AI will look to carry the weight against a very tough Long Island team. And we'll look to see how he adjusts to the G League. And of course, the Nets are led by the Romanian big man, Vlad the Impaler. He's the type of big man that can just take over a game. A lot of storylines to follow in this matchup. It should be a fun one. And with Marcus Young, perhaps the first thing you notice about him is the killer instinct on the court. Young is a player that is always looking to exploit a weakness or to catch a defender slipping up. Sometimes he'll get too focused on that aspect of the game, but I'd say it's worked well for him so far. Just three to shoot. Here's Andrews. It's hauled in by the Mad Ants. Well, if you ever had the chance to talk to Paul Tatum about basketball, you can really just tell how passionate he is about the game. You pick any topic about the sport or any part of the, of the game's history, and he'll chew your ear off about anything until the sun comes up. Down there in the low post is where you want to create a lot of your offense. Shooting for Fort Wayne. And the free throw, no good. Here's Long Island now. It's a five-point game. Back to Nelson. Back to Andrews. Picked by Haji. Pass to Nelson. From long range, from beyond the arc, and then some. And for Long Island, Flat is the star of the team, but to top to bottom, they have talent. Absolutely, they provide a tough matchup for teams because they can run so many sets from inside and out. Reminds me a little bit of how the Denver Nuggets are constructed. Yeah, great point, Brian. AI. Haji covering, chalk up two right there. Three straight makes to start, looking good so far. Now about two minutes gone by in the first quarter. Lays it up and in off the nice reverse. He's very efficient from the interior. The size Haji possesses is really one of his main strengths. And when Young is on the floor, you know he is going to be a threat to score. Offense just comes so easy to Young, and he knows it. You hope he finds a way to expand his game, but when you need a bucket, he is such a good option to have. And he pulls off the Houdini act to then catch it and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. This crowd stunned at the sight of that. Pass to Andrews. Haji with it. He's covered by Tatum. From the baseline, a rebound by Marcus Young. The Mad Ants with the lead. On the wing, AI, defended by Nelson. Here's AI. 
Fires the three, and the Mad Ants another three. You know how things get around here in Fort Wayne. When the Mad Ants play, the entire city pays attention. The whole city shuts down as they love to support their local G League chapter. Now a timeout called by Long Island. And you can see the respect and commitment both the fans and the Mad Ants show each other. Yeah, it's great to see. And a lot of G League teams might not get the recognition they deserve around the country. But look, that is not the case here in Indiana. The Mad Ants are the story around these parts. Very passionate fans who really love this team. I mean, Indiana loves their basketball. Yeah, no doubt. Now here's Fresh. Pass to Price. Here's the pick to the inside. Russell. Here's James. Grace pulls it in. Howie Carter, not the most impactful player on the floor for the Mad Ants, but he is a valuable member of the team. Oh, absolutely. He can give them a spark on occasion, but he's one of those glue guys. Fantastic chemistry with the rest of the team, and he just knows his role. And here they come. And it's Jake Russell with the jam. A one-two punch right there. Nice steal and some elevation on the jam. Yeah, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play on defense. An easy basket, too. Man, my old coaches would be so proud. I mean, that's the importance of great on-the-ball defense being showcased there. Everything's going according to plan for them offensively so far. Coaching staff has got to be impressed. And I'm impressed. I mean, the shots have been falling, that's for sure. They're scoring with confidence. Now here's James. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. One thing you have to admire about Coach Keller is his commitment to having the team stay involved with the community. When you create an atmosphere like that within a locker room in the surrounding city, you get more than the sum of your parts. Keller inspires his players by really making what they do larger than the results on the floor. Now here's James. Pass to Fresh. Price, he's guarded by Grace. Fires from the line. Price, no good. And it's the Mad Ants with the ball. 10 point lead. AI outside. The tray and a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. And that ants ahead, up 10. Let's take a quick break, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. I'm not sure, Brian, if you, you caught the local news, but apparently... Some of the Mad Ant players played a pickup with some of the locals. Yeah, a sight to see for sure. I believe it was AI and Tatum in a two-on-two -two game. You know, small things like that are what makes this team so endeared in Fort Wayne. Yeah, they really love them out here. Another trip to the Stripe Forum and a little bit of a different feel here in the second quarter. A little more banging. And that's serving them well, seeking out contact and putting pressure on the defense. Here's Haji, and it's off the back of the rim, no good. Outside Young. Pass to AI. Robert Andrews with the block. Making an impact, so when he can. Andrews, so you toss up a, a weak shot around him, and you'll regret it. And they force the shot clock violation. Great defense. <laughs> Outside, Kelsey. Marcus Young with the steal. And the head coach of the Mad Ants, Gordon Keller. He's a back to the basics kind of coach. He's going to drill the fundamentals and accountability to this Mad Ants roster from the first whistle to the final horn. Now here's Kelsey. Picked by Haji. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the line to try to make it a three-point play. 
He's taken a solid opening quarter and built on it here in the second. Now he's doing a, a much better job getting to the line here in the second quarter. He didn't have a single free throw attempt in the first. Pass to Tatum. To the wing, right side. Randolph misses. A nice effort, at least, on the alley-oop, but I think probably a bad choice. Well, it looked good for a second there. It really did, but it broke down in a heartbeat. Timing has to be perfect on an alley-oop. Oh, Maestro. He is so good at making those lead passes. Outside Young. Screen by AI. And it's good. Fox through good. contact, hit the shot, and he'll go to the Shot's line. Good. And of course, AI, a name that uh, might sound familiar to college hoops fans. Had a good run, a big game in the Sweet 16, but uh, ultimately the team came up just short. Still showed some great potential in what was his final year. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And they have a chance to go two for one here. Let's see how they play the clock. Pass to Haji. Back to Kelsey. Here's Joseph. Defended by Carter. Four on the shot clock. Just his first attempt. Paul Tatum with the rebound. Paul Tatum, a Houston native, grew up in that area. And Tatum was a huge Rockets fan growing up. You talk to him and he'll tell you his love for the game all started with him watching his hometown team as a kid. Yeah, watching a little T-Mac, a little Yao Ming. Now here's Kelsey, guarded closely. Haji shot is off. in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And we've reached halftime in this one. The Mad Ants on top, up by nine. And we'll see you right after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And the second half about to start in just a few moments. You look at AI in this game, he's been everywhere. Well, in terms of his points in the first half, that's pretty much what we've come to expect from him. Which really tells you all you need to know about what a talent he is. I'll bet he adds a lot more to his totals after the break. Haji shots good. And Andre Haji, better known as Vlad the Impaler, he is a handful of a center. He does everything you want from a big man, including scoring, defense, and setting up others on the offensive end. Good passing, setting up a lot of buckets. That's been a real key. A lot of dime dropping going on out there. I think I can see some on the court. Picked by Haji. Outside Andrews. Pass to Haji. That one is off. Nice D from Connor Trigg. And with Haji, as you mentioned, it is the ability to create for others that's so special. Very special, very skilled, very smart player. You know, it's rare to see a player of his caliber last long down in the G League. And I just think it's a matter of time before he catches on with an NBA squad. You just know there are scouts here watching him play. Well, there's got to be teams that could use that kind of playmaking ability. Absolutely. And AI and the rest of the Mad Ants were involved uh, in some community work recently. They had a booth at the State Fair. You just have to love that the team is willing to take time and meet fans on an individual basis by having a booth at the fair. It just takes a day for the players, but goes a long way in developing ties with the community. So both teams changing it up here. Here's Young, seven points in the game. AI outside. On the wing, Paul Tatum. Outside, Young. 
from deep. Unable to get that one to go. So Long Island will take it the other way. To the paint. Russell misses. The Mad Ants leading. Outside Young. Trifecta! They've had a solid start to the second half offensively, gotten good looks and hit three or four of them. Picked by Haji. Pass to Andrews. Haji. Over Trigg. Haji shots good. And with Vlad the Impaler, they really run the offense through him. Every set this team has makes the best use of having an elite center in the middle. Haji is a great presence on the floor, and it's no surprise they built the offense around him. And there's the pick. And here's AI outside. Rebound Long Island. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Out to the wing, pass to Andrews. Haji, no bucket, and that's miss number six. He's made seven. The drive by AI, that falls. Nice feed that time from Paul Tatum. Well, it has been said time and time again, but it doesn't make it any less true. The state of Indiana loves their basketball. And it's one reason why a team like the Mad Ants can have such a devoted fan base. It goes across the entire state. It's in everyone's DNA. Timeout called, the Nets. AI really making a difference here. He's torching them right now, and they're gonna talk it over and try to figure out how to slow his roll. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Pass to Campbell. They set the pick. Poked loose, and he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. Shooting one. The Mad Ants making a switch here. And the Mad Ants with possession. They held a 12-point lead earlier. AI outside. And AI throws it down. A little bit of point guard play coming from the center position. Trigg making a dynamic pass to the open man. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone now. Pass to Odom. Now Price. Daniels covering. Price with it. Clock at six. Out of bounds, Nets ball as Long Island keeps possession. Just four to shoot. From deep. Odom's shot is off. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team, and that 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. They're really pushing them around. Now here's Odom. To the left wing. Pass to Price. And here's Fresh. Now here's Odom, covered by AI. Now here's Campbell. And again, it's the Nets missing. Grace, covered by Campbell. AI, high post, Connor Trigg. AI outside. Pass to Daniels. Good, and the assist goes to AI. Another good pass, impressive offensive execution from them. Yeah, passing has kept the defense off balance. Four straight field goals made off an assist. Out to the wing. Fresh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And that's some gritty work on the offensive glass. Coach has got to be happy. The long three. 
And the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Mad Ants ahead. They lead by 13. And time for a short break. Stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up. Welcome back as the fourth quarter is right ahead. Not exactly a close contest here. Now the Mad Ants with it. It's a 13-point game. Back to Carter. Pass to AI. Knocked away. Pushing it up. And here they go. And slam dunk by Dustin Joseph. Recognizing the overcommitment, Kelsey knows it's his responsibility to get it to his open guys. AI defended by Fresh. AI outside. From outside the arc. Second chance shot. And Carter lays it up and in. They've shown some strength in the paint. Their work on the boards has been phenomenal. Yeah, and that's putting it mildly, guys. They've been absolutely dominant. Pass to Fresh. James. Up off the pick. And then Brad James with the dunk. A sturdy screen set for him that time. And he doesn't fool around. Straight to the 10 for the jam. Yeah, he's a brick wall. There was no way for his man to get around that one, was there? And a well-built wall with that. Yeah, no chance of getting around that. I mean, the pick was in the right spot. His feet were set. He would have had to go straight through him. And we know that's probably not going to happen. I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him there. And apparently, neither did the defenders. Now a timeout called by Long Island. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter now. Screen by AI. Pass to Randolph. And here is AI, covered by Joseph. And AI gets it to go. Kicking it up a notch, AI, demonstrating why he's ready for the NBA. Out to the right wing. Here's Haji. And that one goes long. And they can take their time on this possession. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Give themselves a little bit of a break. They've been able to depend on his offense all game, guys, and he is not wasting any chances. And if they want to make things even easier on themselves here late in the game, just keep feeding him the rock. They need this. The rebound by Marcus Young. Tatum outside. Randolph. Outside Young. Pass to AI. Tatum. Andrews defending. Back to AI. Clock at six. And again, it's Fort Wayne. And with that basket, you'd have to think this lead is safe. I don't know if I'd call it 100% secure, but at least 98%. I'll go 99.2. Andre Haji can't get that one to fall. And these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assist. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively too. From what I've heard, uh, nobody on this team works harder than Trigg. He is doing everything he can to improve his game and show everyone that he belongs in the NBA. Timeout called, the Nets. Starting. Joseph, the screen. Here's Nelson. And again, it's the Nets missing. And here are the Mad Ants. Pass to Trigg. AI with it. Down low. Young. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. An opportunity. And there it is, the final whistle. Mad Ants win. Fantastic performance from the team to defend the home court. And there were standout stars tonight, sure, but I like the way that the whole team 
everybody. Aim to slow up Vlad the Impaler. That was a key factor in Fort Wayne coming out with the win. Offensively, the Mad Ants seem to be when this team is on the same page. And they gave us a peek of how deadly they could be on offense tonight. And that's about all she wrote, folks. For Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Zuniga. Thanks for joining us on this presentation of G League Basketball. What's your name? You're working hard, right? Fighting? Yeah, but I keep slamming into this wall. Why? I don't know. I, I'm doing everything right. I'm, I keep my head down. I grind. But you're still hitting that wall. So climb over it. Find your way around it. Dig a tunnel underneath it. Do not think about this wall as a barrier. Think about it as a question. What's the question? When I was a little kid, I wanted a big sounding job, right? Just like everybody else. I wanted to be a doctor, lawyer, president. Astronaut. I wanted to be an astronaut. <laughs> right, right. But then I got older and my heart told me something else. Words. I loved how they sounded when I gave them context, purpose. I knew I wanted to be great at it. And everyone <laughs> told me that it was impossible because of the barriers, right? I'm a female, uh, the odds, the competition, and never be able to make it as a living. And unfortunately, they were right. Every single door that I knocked on was slammed in my face. But you knew they were wrong. I knew that I could write. But I had to think about why I was being rejected. What were my flaws? Regroup, rethink. You went over that wall. I built a ladder. So, what happened? Oh, uh, it all fell apart, and now I just troll around at carnivals looking for stuffed animals to complete my okay. collection. Oh, right, see, that's impossible. Can't be done. <laughs> no, now I have a great career. And it pays me enough that it's my only job, and it continues to grow. I am a sports writer and owner of Wayne Hoops HQ. Wait, Wayne, that's you? <laughs> that's, that's amazing. I, I read you like all the time. I always thought you were a guy. Oh, okay, because girls can't write about sports. No, nah, the exact opposite. I always thought it was written by a dude named Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just messing with you. Okay. I get that all the time. Yeah, yeah, your piece about Ben Simmons' development as a passer, man, I read that like 50 times. Thank you. Yeah, I did feel like going out with you was kind of touchy territory and crossing a line, so I kind of wanted to see how this went before I told you about it. What I do is very important to me, so anything that could call that into question is a red line. Yeah, yeah, I totally get that. Uh, I want to get you something before you leave. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, what is it? Oh, company on oh, your no. walk home. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for this giant elephant. No, you won't look creepy at all. Just tall guy, a stuffed animal. I know exactly where this is going. Yeah. Yeah. Where? Uh rhymes with ash can. <laughs> Yo, 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 uh, it's your boy AI coming at you from Fort Wayne, Indiana, uh, all by way of China and the Shanghai Bears. What's up to my people out there? What's up, Wei? What's up, Zhang? What's up, Coach? Hey, 
Corey Harris, I'm coming for you, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna take it easy on you, but man, we're gonna have a good time, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be good. How was that? Not magic, but uh, it works. Yeah, it works, works really well, actually. It's, um, it's real. It's unfiltered, you know? It's gonna give me something to cut into the gameplay so that people get to know the real you. Yeah, maybe, but I don't know, man. Like, I don't want to come off like I'm just trying too hard to promote me only. I want my game to speak first. Your game is gonna speak for you, man. I'm gonna speak for you. There's nothing wrong with having a couple more voices in the room. <laughs> Look, hey. You gotta keep your wrist loose, all right? You're shooting too flat. <laughs> what do you care how I shoot? You're the one with the game coming up. I know, I know, I know. Look, one more time, okay? Wrist loose, elbow in. Woo! That's right, baby. Feels good, right? It does. Hey, so, um, you think I screwed up with Nikki? What, on that date? Yeah. I think that she thinks I'm nervous around her now since she's a reporter. Are you nervous? Well, maybe, I guess, but, I mean, it's not like because she's a blogger. I mean, I, I think about her all the time, like, <laughs> she's in my head, man, like, it's actually kind of nice, you know, it feels right, it feels like something's happening. Wow, it's the unflappable AI finally getting butterflies. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man, it's just, it's kind of like what Paul was saying about the city. Like, I've had girlfriends before, but I mean, not like this. Something about her just makes me feel like I'm home. What? <laughs> we open on the two of you driving through Amish country. <laughs> You're going through one of those covered bridges. New idea. Yeah, you, you, you're wearing those hats and overalls. Yeah. You open it up on the two-lane blacktop. You see those rows of corn going by. She's looking at you and you can see it in her eyes. That you're the... This is good, man. I can sell this. What are you doing okay. this weekend? All right, let's let's reel it in, Zach. Let's reel it in. All right, let, let's let's sell the game. Okay, let's focus on the game. There's no line anymore, AI. It's all the same brand. You want to get to the next level? This is what you have let's to do. Let's keep it at the game for now, okay, man? That's that's not enough. Well, it has to be. Okay, for now. Fine. Yeah, for now. Thank <laughs> you.